Hey, 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 everybody. How are you doing? Chris the Cop here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching and definitely thank you for all your support. All right. We're going to finish off probably the last 10 minutes of episode four and then we're going to start episode five. Uh, episode four for all, all of us last week was a super long episode and I just ha had something that I had to do and um, so I had to stop. But I understand I only had like about another 10 minutes left. Um, so, <clears throat> all right, let's say hi to a couple people that have joined us. I first want to say hello to my trusty number one, Fox Commander. Uh, he's already in the chat moderating stuff and uh, give a shout out to Fox, man, because without Fox, none of this would be happening. All right. We also have Stephen Curry fan. Rabies is in the house. What's up there, Taryn? Rising light. Well, thank you for chatting. Hello, hello, hello. Hungarian Kumin, how's it going? You guys, thanks for joining. Please hit that like button if you're here. Yes. All right. There we go. So yeah, it's uh this has been a interesting yeah boom donuts. We're doing a little uh, Walking Dead here. We're gonna finish up episode four and hopefully get through episode five. Um, that's been really kind of uh, chaotic um, for me lately, and I do apologize for that. I haven't been able to get the content up that I've been what is pardon me that I've been wanting to get up. Uh, but we're hopefully we're at things uh, things are gonna calm down a little bit, and we'll have a little bit more time to get some content up. Um, hey, what's up there, Teslas? Uh, so, but, uh, thanks for all of the support, everybody. Thanks for, you know, how, you know, being patient and everything else that, uh, goes along with that. I do much appreciate it. Hey, what's up there, Sly Trooper? Poofy in the house. Poof, poof. Poofy, what are the only cops guys doing today? <laughs> kind of interested. I'm kind of hoping that I might be able to jump online with them. I don't know if I'm going to stream myself, but I might just go ahead and play... If they need another body, I do love playing with them. I, I'm kind of like wishing they play a call. Of, see, get they got to stop with the ready or not bullshit. We got to do some Call of Duty. That was fun. I was having a blast with Call of Duty. Um, but yeah, I know they're big ready or not fans, and ah, uh, 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 gotta we gotta talk them away from that. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have heard the music, and uh, so we're going to jump right into this. Uh, hey, uh, real quick, for those of you that may be watching this later and not the live stream, uh, what is this channel all about? Why? I'm Chris DeCop. I'm a real police officer playing video games and talking all things nerd, which is going to be a big, big, big thing I want to do this year. I want to talk about the pulp culture that I grew up starting from the 1970s, and some of that stuff is actually was in the late 60s from Japan, but... 70s and start talking about some of the cartoons anime Japanese uh, Series that were out back then and show you guys what is out there what started all of this and uh, Yeah, cuz it's pretty epic stuff that many of you don't know exist I mean, I know everyone knows about Godzilla, but there is like a ton of other stuff out there is just awesome that uh, you know, so all right, let's see else who here is. We got Pro Liquor, Game X. Oh my gosh, Gamer X! I'm so excited that you're here. Uh, well, 60 is playing today, hence why they're playing Ready or Not. Tell you know what? When did we start streaming around 60 whiskey, whiskey 68? He's supposed to stream what we want. Uh, Boom Donuts. I'm going to call anyone that causes the death of multiple people by accident Ben because of Ben from last season, right? Let's see how many times Chris dies this time. Thanks, gamer. All right, let's go for 25 likes. We're already 12 and we haven't even started playing. Remember, there's 16 people in here right now, so let's make sure we get those likes. Uh, all right, Taryn. Um, I can make a gamer YouTube mod from, from my account. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Hey, what's up, Stockfish? So let's jump into this. Let's switch our camera view and let's uh, play a little Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4. All right. Oh my gosh, we're not having any technical difficulties. Switch everything over. Woohoo! All right. Got a little click going on there. 
I will try to watch uh, chat from time to time, but uh, please be patient with me, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, it's kind of hard for me, I still have not moved my chat over a little bit closer. Um, yeah, you know what? That's going to actually be a probably pretty good idea to move my screen about right here. And yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a left, a left-sided, uh, left-sided mount. Mm. Yeah, do a left-sided mount and then keep everything on the right side. I think that's going to be the plan. Yep, I like it. All right, let's do this. Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Smokey and the Bandit, that's one of my favorites, Pro Liquor. When I get home, boy, I'm gonna pop your mama right in the mouth. She's exhausted. We all are. What's up, Alexander? I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This looked like someplace warm to you? We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. You're not helping anything by arguing. Don't forget, you agreed with me last night that we should get moving as quick as possible. Oh, oh, oh. Over here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? Uh-oh. What is this? Uh-oh. Arvo? Arvo? Uh-oh. Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? We took his food. He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Fuck! Uh-oh. Yeah. Это они? Да. Это они. <laughs> Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол и что вы забираем все, что они имеют. А, привет, Лебарисио. Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть, у... We don't want any trouble. Oh, you got trouble, girl. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? 
I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. But this is how it has to be. Uh-oh. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass! Слушай, Арво! Почему они не... If you put your guns down, we will too! Опусти оружие сейчас! I... I... Арво, что происходит здесь? The fuck is she saying? Играйся со мной! Why get excited? I will not let them touch that bagel chip! Опусти! You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking don't move! I said don't move! They hush us umer yet! Uh-oh, lockers! This doesn't have to go down like that! Oh, crap! Might have been the wrong choice. Gosh. Let's see. Left Sarah at the trailer park. You and 59.4% of players left Sarah behind at the park. Robbed Arvo. You and 47.6% of players stole pills from Arvo. Ooh, so I was on the low end. Uh, crawled through ticket booth. You and 50 volunteered. Held the baby. You and 56.9 of players held the baby. Shoot Rebecca. You and 42.9% of players chose to shoot Rebecca. I kind of want to go back on that one. Yeah, that did go pretty south real quick. Now, here's the funny part is that she could have just easily started eating the baby. I think she had to do that. I mean, she saw that she was a zombie. Um. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow. All right. Well, we can't uh, can't scroll through that, so let's talk about that, and then we'll get going again. So let's just go back to this. Wow, that was uh, that was intense. Um, dang it, dang it! I'm a little upset right now that I. Oh, what? What would you guys have done? There's uh, there's 19 of you in here. What would you guys have done? Right, Fox? The demonetization. There we go, there we go. Uh Hungarian Kuman. I didn't shoot. Okay. Hey, what's up there, Barty? Six Leakian says he shot. Pro Liquor says same thing. Shoot. Wow. I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know what the right answer on this one was. Anyone else? Anyone else? I'm kind of interested to see what else other people would have done. Like, Wah. I would have thrown a grenade. Flashbang, right? Flashbang, gamer. Oh, my gosh. Hey, what's up, Alfredo? Thanks for joining, man. My other, one of my other trusty moderators is in the house. We're, Alfredo, uh, just bring up the speed. We're just letting the music play through, and we're going to chop on into episode five. Things didn't go too well for us in episode four. Um, really, I'm kind of really bummed out here. Man, they want to make sure they give everybody credit. They don't let you, uh... 
Yeah, you can't stop it. So, well, it just goes to show you that our past transgressions um, came back to haunt us. I'm kind of interested to see, had we not stolen from Arvo, what would have happened? Real interested in that. And um, that would have definitely played out here because Arvo probably would have helped us. But I'm kind of thinking, I don't know. I don't know. Pro liquor. The the uh, the beginning of episode four is uh, up. It's already. Uh, it was last week's live stream, so you'll be able to catch up there. And um, and then this will be uh, episode five that we're going to start next. I was actually thinking about taking the live streams and putting them all together to make one big uh, mix matchup. Oh my gosh! Rest in peace. Winslow, Ali and Carmen, Biggie, Tuffless, Duke of Newport, Bofum, Bonnie, Brody, Bruno, Buffy, Charlie, Charlotte, Cheese, Crispy, Chocho, Clyde, Cody. Oh my gosh. I can't even keep up. I was actually thinking about that, Gamer. I think that would be kind of cool. Okay, no going back. We're going to start. All right, let's do this. No going back, episode five. I'm the walking dead. Oh, yeah, sorry guys. Thanks. There we go. If things start heading south, don't let got them it, got it. down with them. Drink it! Now or I'm gonna fucking call. shoot it! We I'll do it! it. Drop it! Yeah, Drop it! Don't, it. Don't, don't move! move. Don't, don't move! move. I I said, don't don't move. move. Everybody be cool! Alright, let's see what happened. Uh, trust me, I know. Don't forget to like, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in here still, and before you leave, please. Oh, what's going on? Clem, shoot him in the head. You. You started this shit. Hey, shoot that one in the head. Oh, the baby. Clem, you got a gun? Hey! What are you doing? Clem! Get behind cover! Get right. Oh shit! I didn't even see him! 
them out there. Good work, Clem. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out of ammo. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker! I kill every one of you! Okay, there's your English. Come on, Clem. Just get over to that side of the wall. I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? Just shoot over to his woods. Yeah, okay. Good, good. I just need the distraction, okay? All right, I'm not gonna... Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Wow. This is like a movie, guys. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way, that didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. You saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Come on. Sure. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She would have been a good mom. Yeah. Yeah, she would have. Woo! Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. You piece of shit! Hey, hey! 
Stop! Guys! Get off guys, me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. I... I think we can trust him. He wants to live as much as we do. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Come on, Kenny. Unless someone's got a better plan. Thank you, Kenny. Can't wait for that to happen, right? We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Wow, okay. If you're still in here, please like if you haven't liked already. I do appreciate it. We'd like to get the 25 likes. That's our first goal. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Clem's okay with that. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Yep. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. It's changing him. You're the only one that he well, trusts. Boom, I guess we're about to find that out. he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes. Hey gamer, I think we should do uh, a um, put them all together, but without uh, my camera, and just make it like a movie. I think that would be best. No, no, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got Clem if I need anything. 
Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. I've noticed that, too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough nah. spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Okay. Hmm. For what? Oh. Ah! Come on, Damn suck it. it up. You look like crap. <laughs> Ow. Ah, don't make me laugh, all right? It hurts when I laugh. It's like, what will be next? How did we get here? What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Well, that's what we call the zombie Nick, apocalypse. Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Yeah, nothing important. Okay, you don't gotta tell me if you don't want to. I'm fine. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. <sighs> okay. That a girl. Poor Clem. It's had to grow That's up. That's sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Come on. Excuse <coughs> me, guys. Sorry about that. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Cause I think I'm all right. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Hmm. It's okay. I trust you. Oh. 
So how's it look? Like crap? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm... I'm so sorry, Kenny. That bad, huh? You ain't got nothing to apologize for, Clementine. This wasn't your doing. Guessing this hey, is gonna be the shit. Let's go, up, Andy. Let's do it. So this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. <laughs> nope. Uh, holy fucking hell! <sighs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, does that smart. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little Carver more. Uh, smashed his eye, Panzer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. Yeah, he took the radio and just started smashing them in the head. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's do this. Let's head out. Where's Arvo? There he is. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit. No, it's at the house. It's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was going to happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I think we should spend the night here, if it's safe. That's a big if. Well, there's a fence, which would help with walkers. Maybe. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait right. right here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. Oh, what's up, Black Beauty? Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Thanks. No. It's live. That's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that'd work. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? 
Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. <laughs> Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> You always get this feeling like something is like there, like, no, at least you got a little fire going. They should be safe with the fence. Those places are pretty, those electrical places are pretty, uh, well locked down. Come Today's on. Today's my birthday. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Come on, got bring our to the fire. Years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Well, oh, there you go. I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and we got some whiskey. Birthday and all. Oh yes. Figure. This is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He he didn't think people should drink. Did Feel he a little have guilty taking the whiskey first in his office? Wait. You gotta make a toast. I think he Carver had uh, really whiskey the whiskey in his uh, office. Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. <laughs> just a toast to means we all got something to drink. That's dark, Benzer. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way, and to the hope that we see them again, someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Where have they fed that kid? I think that kid would be crying Fire's like no nice. tomorrow. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts I don't know I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes 10 minutes man that's longer than I'd last at this point <laughs> hey all right. all right it wasn't 10 minutes come on we got a little one around sorry forget I said anything I know what you guys are talking about <laughs> I certainly hope not you're talking about kissing stuff poor clam uh yeah Yes, yes, that, that is exactly... Hey, what's up there, there partner? Kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. 
Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Right? Hey, real quick, guys, I gotta take a quick pause. So I will be right back. Be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Nope, I'm back there, gamer. Just had to go to take care of something real quick. All right, here we go. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. It'll only be weird if you make it weird. Just be cool. Hang out. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sip? It's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh oh, busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. 
all over the dining room. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's yeah. never really been hey, a problem. Hey, what's up for there? Me. Not a bad account. Keep it that way. My sister found uh, me. Good question. Uh, my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Holy shit. Um. I haven't yeah. thought about that in a long I time. I think we yeah, I think it also depends on the state that you're in. Uh, and if it's uh, some type of risk that you could articulate. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. All right, let's go talk to Kenny. Time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. All right. Okay, it's your turn. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. All right, Kenny. I bet we'll be crying a lot more. Oh, hey, Clem. I'm starting to think she might be a bad influence on you. Girl your age, it ain't right. I know you think you're older, but... Of all the things I've done, that I've seen, I really don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. She's been killing stuff, killing people. They've been sending her in harm's way. I think night. Clem can have a drink. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. Uh, power grid. Anything for one. D deal with it as with like it would. To play catch with Duck. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend, and I haven't had too many of them. Oh, we just he have a not a bad account. We just have contingency sure. plans. I mean. Just wanted folks to be happy. Get out there, get to bring back Boy as many like cops that. as we possibly can back Throw into the cities and counties like and uh, try to keep law and order it's be different as long him. as we can. He's going to get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. It just looks cold. Seems secure enough. For one night, anyways. 
I would bend that back a little bit though. Uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much dangerous? time trying to stay alive that What's up, Steven? you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Well, for any type of invasion, it doesn't matter foreign or domestic. Yeah, we will fight to protect people, uh, you know, the communities. Let me get and, that um, We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. I don't like it either, but we shouldn't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. Yep, well, Clem did. A lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best. Leave to... me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! Please, David. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh. Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Yeah, so police are just responsible for protecting what they could protect. Remember, we're sworn to protect the Constitution of the United States from foreign and domestic, so... Yeah. Hopefully they're not war better armed than us. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I... If I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Get it! Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, where's Argo? Fucker oh. came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Hmm. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Say it in American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. 
We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. He's okay. Uh-oh. Well, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know about the walk doing this. They could have gone around right there. We're okay. Don't worry. Uh-oh. Bye-bye, Luke. Uh-oh. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. Frozen walkers. That's two less to deal with. Well, just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! We should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Well, they made it. Uh oh, bye bye, Luke. Can we have your gun at least? Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just I just gotta be careful. Oh! Luke, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You need help, Luke. The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No. Clem, go. Go help no, him. No, Clem, Clem, do not. Just go back for him. You're light. You Stop can do telling it. her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, it's too dangerous. Clementine, stop! Clementine! Just go back. Please. I got you. Please. It's gonna be all right. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking- 
fucking fault. Kenny, don't, man. Do what? It's nobody's damn fault. <sighs> I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. I bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. Uh -oh. You fucking commie piece of shit. Yeah, Teddy! Fuck you. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help? How me? is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. Oh, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... You got a light? Man, the way he keeps looking at Clem. I thought I had matches. about one of you take off all the Clem's clothes and give her one of your jackets so we can dry her clothes off. Good job, Clem. That's what you get for stealing the pills. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. Right? Hey, don't okay. forget to like the stream, guys. We've got 30 likes. Hit our 25 mark. That's Thank pretty you. cool. We've got 25 people in here right now. That's freaking even awesomer. Awesomer, I don't know if that's a word. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Just. Give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. Oh. I'll watch him. Clem. 
Just be careful. Right? Why don't you tell Arvo you're sorry? What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Hmm. Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago. Just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. Turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Go check this one out. Wish they'd finished this place. All right. Looks like it's about to collapse. Hmm, cigarettes, huh? How did she like that? Want one? We're gonna stay a non smoker no, during the zombie apocalypse. Do you remember when you saw me first, back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. Oh. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Yep. I wish I never took anything from Arvo. I'll bet he does too. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, 
There's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't really know what I want. Maybe I ought to start thinking about it. You know, I've been all over, run with a lot of people, a lot of men, and listened to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. <laughs> okay. TMI. Interesting that door opened outward, an out, a uh, structure door opening outward. Interesting. Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. Uh-oh. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Yeah. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <laughs> You might be right. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Hmm. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. Uh, I still think this puke. baby would be screaming. It puked. It puked. Gross. You had zombie guts on you. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway. The dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So he made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. 
What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? Who the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? No. Wellington? Wellington. Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. Jane's right. We should head south. We're going to freeze to death up here. And it's the best thing for the baby. I vote we go back to Mike? Sure. Whatever. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arvo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We have to bring him with us. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You didn't think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm right? not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! You can't just walk away from us! Better talk some sense into him. Oh, so it's on her? You guys are all adults. Uh-oh. They killed Kenny. Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Come on, Clem. You're gonna have to be brave. What was that back there? I expected more out of you, Clem. You know, I only want what's best for that child. How could you embarrass me like that? You're scaring me. Scared? What's there to be scared about? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, oh. think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it! No. <sighs> she did it out of your kindness of your heart. I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. 
Let's get some sleep, so we gotta be ready. going on now it sounds like someone's getting hit oh What's going on? to do here oh can't let them take the truck Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Mm hmm. Lee? Hi, Miss Lee. Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. 
She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. That's a dumb reason. You're right. It is. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Ah. Oh. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? No. I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, Sweet Pea. Ah, Sweet Pea! Missed that! Part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes... That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared. Don't forget to like guys while you're in here. What can I tell you to make it better? That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> She's obviously dreaming about Lee because she misses Lee. And let's try to get some sleep. Lee never asked anything of her. That was the other part. He didn't ask her to be on his side. Kenny's asking to be on his side. So she's like that unconditional love. out from the shock where are we been driving a few hours now we had to run the truck to keep you warm how do you feel it hurts couldn't find the bullet must have gone clean through it'll burn a while but you'll be fine those sons of bitches i mean i expected it from the russian but mike i could tell they were working on something i didn't think they'd go that far yeah well who would steal our food and shoot a kid should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I should have done something. They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. Don't touch her, Kenny. I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you. 
Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. There you go. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have Diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? Kenny. That fucking asshole. God. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. I don't know how to get through to him anymore. I don't think we can. Let's go. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Let's do it. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Let's go. Don't just sit there. Jesus. Oh, arrows, arrows. Get out of there. The door is stuck. Oh. Shit. Shit. There are more of them. Move. Clem, hurry! Get out! Hurry! Jane! Jane, wait! Oh! Oh! Come on, Clem! White snow. Jane! Be quiet, Fox. I know what you're referring to.
Get up, Clem! We got here. Playground? Some type of uh, camp? Oh, the rest stop. That's a mile away. Wow. Where's the baby? The Jane, where is he? Oh my god. He's... What are you saying? No. No! No, not again. See what he really is. Woo! This is gonna get dark fast. Kenny, calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an Fuck accident, it. Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. Yeah, I'm gonna let uh, Kenny die. He needs to go. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck uh, off! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Please! Come on, Clem. Let... Jane! Asshole! Fuck you, dare! Fuck you! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Taste it! Shit! Just go! I ain't going nowhere! Fine. Fucking psycho! Stop! You don't have to do this! I'll fucking kill you!
Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Clem. I'm sorry. You made the right choice. I let you down. <coughs> I let everyone down. Why did you make me do this? I'm sorry, Clementine. We almost made it. We were close, weren't we? <laughs> I thought I wanted this. Asked for it so many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm afraid, Clem. It's okay, Kenny. You're... you're going to see Kutch and Duck. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. I knew the baby was alive. She had to show. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I, I can't believe he's alive. He's safe, Clem. It was a stupid plan. I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. For us. We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. Thank you. Thank you, Clem. You were right about Kenny. All along, you knew what he was gonna do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. Oh, they went back. Can't see much from here. Come on. No, it's not, gamer. He was going to die anyways. <laughs> oh. I don't. I don't know how you were able to watch that. I've seen worse. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. Something's wrong. The greenhouse is in good shape. 
You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. Clem. Come on. They don't look armed. This your place? It's big. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah? Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Where you girls been? The hell Why back. do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Everywhere. All over. You, uh, been up north? Yeah. Yeah, us too. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things, but I'm asking you, as a father, please, don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. They could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please, come in. <sighs> Thank you. Around the side. You sure about this? This place is a mess? I'm not sure about anything anymore. It's not much. But we'll make it better. Just keep your eyes on him. We'll be fine. My name's Patricia. Jane. Thank you, Jane. Don't mention it. Thank you so much. Of course. Cool hat. Yeah, thanks. Really? Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? This is how it's going to end? What? WTF? Okay, protected the baby. You and 58.6% of players protected the baby. Okay, I'm on that threshold. Went to help Luke. You and 30% of players tried to help Luke. Really? Only 33%? Oh. Asked to leave with Mike. You and 80.9% players didn't ask to leave with Mike. Shot Kenny. You and 50.9%. Ooh, that's half. In the end, who are you with? You and 21.4% players are with Jane and the family. Oh, that's low. That's low. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's get the music. Wow. Wow. That is... Uh... All right. So there's a lot. I, I saw through my peripheral vision, I saw the chat take off when uh, we, <laughs> we killed Kenny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. I, uh, I'm not feeling good about that percentage, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I'll be right back and we'll talk about this. All right, if you're still in here, please like. Uh, we got 44 likes. We are going for 50. I will be right back and we're going to break this down. I'm like all over right now. You're going to want to hear my breakdown. So stick around, guys. I will be right back. All right, all right, guys. Woo. So, oh my gosh, that's a lot to uh, take in. Um, that was interesting. So, we saw how. Hey, what's going on, Lemur? Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, this has a. This was a lot. This was a lot. To, uh, uh, some of you are um, kind of upset that I went with Jane. Like, <laughs> like the stream, or you can dislike it if you think Chris is evil. <laughs> Why, gamer? What did I do? Kenny was out of control. I mean, literally out of control. You guys really think I should have killed Jane? I mean, yes, she instigated the whole thing, but eventually I think Kenny was going to... Uh, to lose it. I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to go back. 
I would love to go back and um, play it to see what happens by killing her. I mean, where where did they go? Did they head towards Wellington, or did they go back down south for the food? Um, uh, yeah, uh, it's so interesting to hear you guys like seeing the comments and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm loving, I'm loving the chat. I'm loving the chat. Oh my gosh, season three, I guess, right? Season three. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys, I can't wait to read this when after let me see. I'm gonna go back up a little bit and see what happened right here. Um yeah, you guys are blaming my driving skills. So was if I wouldn't have driven better, were we getting out of that or what? What was gonna happen? You're all out here killing the goat from season one. Um <laughs> yeah, thanks, Gamer. I know, right? Um, so, what happened? Did, did, who, who, has anybody like uh, uh, did the driving the right way? I mean, what 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 would happen? What happens if you drive the right way? I'm just I'm just curious. Anybody? Can anyone tell me what would happen? We hit 51 likes. That is awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Does anybody know what would happen? I'm just curious. Oh, still same outcome. Okay, thanks, Panzer. So we're going to end up at the uh, rest stop. Or, I mean, yeah, the rest area anyways, right? All right, all right. <laughs> it's just that, do we kill Kenny or do we kill Jane? I mean, how can you... Okay, so here it is. How can you kill Jane? Jane, would, all she did was, you know... Uh, hey, take, take it easy, Panzer. Why would you kill Jane? Kenny was the one out of control. I, I get it with Jane... Yeah, okay, I'm reading that from Steven and Gamer. Okay. Yeah, uh, Gamer's saying the only thing that changes in the story is the ending depending on who you kill. Um, most of the Telltale games have same outcomes, but good story come... Um... <laughs> hey, we finally got to say you killed Kenny, right? I've been like waiting for that. I just had this really weird feeling we were going to kill Kenny. I, he just needed to go, guys. I'm sorry. He just he was out of control, and um, we've talked about this. I've talked about this. I call it the Negan effect. You know, there should be a paper that's done on the Negan effect. There really should be because the this like animalistic type A personality comes forth in certain people, like Carver, the governor. Um, you know, obviously. Um, Kenny, in in a way, Kenny just didn't have a lot. But if we look at the villains from the governor, from Negan to Carver, um, they 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 this 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 personality came up where they ruled with an iron hammer, and it was like everything. I mean, it's not, it's it's not a part of society that people see today. But I think if you were to see if we if civilization collapsed, I think we would definitely. Pardon me, definitely see that. <laughs> oh my God, you killed Kenny. You, you. Well, I can't say. Right? He was out of control, but he still loves Clem. He lost a lot too. He did. He did. I, I, I get it. But if you don't shoot him, you'll. You, they find. Uh, they will find Wellington with Clem, and then you can choose to stay with Kenny or in Wellington. Uh, can't use this for shorts because the chat was going wild. We have to make this in, uh, intro into a 30-minute video. Well, someone's got to make a paper about the Ben effect. About the Ben effect. Remind me. The Ben effect? What do you mean, Ben? What do you mean, Ben? Boom. What do you mean, boom? Can he still love Clem? He lost Kata, Duck, and Sarita. The only thing stopping Kenny from committing suicide is Clem and AJ. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore, right? <laughs> Oh, Ben is a true hero of The Walking Dead. Uh, <laughs> Kenny is God. Kenny is life. <laughs> you guys are killing me, man. You guys are killing me. I'm like, you're really making me like, like regret killing Kenny. You guys really are. You guys are doing a good job of making me feel like uh, I shouldn't have ever killed Kenny. Uh, 
Oh, the Ben effect. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot about Ben. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> you guys are killing me. Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. That is so funny. Well, hey, guys. Thanks a lot, man. It's been great. It's been great. This was a lot of fun. Um, let me see. What are the what are the boys only at only cops doing? I'm gonna take a quick look here. What is only cops doing? Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, we gotta do some stuff though with it. What are they playing? Oh, they're playing. I think they're playing. Uh... I'm in their chat right now, guys. Oh, let me put my headphones back on. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and play with them. Um, we're just going to do like a random stream. Uh, well, I don't know what, well, Fox, you and I are going to need to talk about that. Some major, major things are going to be changing. So we're going to be, we're going to have to definitely uh, talk about that. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to do. So, hey, <laughs> I'm listening to Josh or I'm listening to Bill right now. Uh, all right. So I'm going to put this on pause real quick, guys. And, um, if you want to. If you want to um, watch us play a little Modern Warfare, uh, I'm going to jump in and play some Modern Warfare with those guys. And maybe about an hour, and then I'm going to call it. But thanks again for everyone joining me. Um, and thanks for, it's been fun. I had a lot of great time. This was a great, great episode. Uh, thank you to my moderators. Thank you, Alfredo. Thank you, Fox. Uh, and thank you once again, everyone, for joining. I really do appreciate it. Lots of love. So, got to go. If you want to stick around, I'll be back on in about five minutes for doing a little Call of Duty live with the boys from Only Cops. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We can make the world a better place, ladies and gentlemen, by just helping one person at a time, as long as they're not named Kenny. <laughs> Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris the Cop. <laughs> we killed Kenny. Peace. I'm having a good time with this. <laughs> oh, we lost some likes. Oh, we lost some likes. Wow. Wow. We lost some likes. Oh, my gosh. We lost likes. We had over 51. We had 51 likes. We lost likes. Oh, that's a bummer. That is such a bummer. I like my likes. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks again. Peace, everyone.